Good morning. So would you believe me if I said it is 5.30 a.m. on a Friday and it's actually my day off and I'm getting up the earliest that I've got up all week. But I've just got a really fun day, jam-packed with lots of exciting things. So I'm going to pack my bag, got to leave the house in 15 minutes. I'm packing my climbing shoes. Very interesting looking shoes, aren't they? Second exercise outfit, some skincare and some other bits and bobs. And that's my bag packed for the day. My good energy gang bag. I bought this from um, Trip, which is the CBD drink company I'm obsessed with. I'm so obsessed with that company that I literally make monthly orders of CBD drinks. And then I also ordered their tote bag and I ordered their socks. They have these cute little socks. And I was like, am I, am I a loyal customer now? I guess I am. <laughs> So yeah, today is my day off, but this is Ant's day on. He gets up at this time every day of the week, which just makes me respect you so much. Every day of the working week. The working week, Monday to Friday. Yeah, Monday to Friday, Friday is my working week. Every day. Well done you. I admire that. Pokemon holidays. Pokemon holidays. Um, I get up at 4am. To go and do something that's like. So the plan today is, so I'm heading to London, first things first, going to meet my friend Vanessa, who is my other friend Ollie's new girlfriend, which is very exciting. Me and her have been doing a few Barry's classes together, so we're going to go do a Barry's, and then I'm meeting Naomi for just a fun day in the city. Let's do it! Do it now, do it good. Do it do, do, like you should. Come on, I'll put it in there. Come on in. I love how you literally took it out to it's, put it back in. It's the noise. It's the noise. Is it the noise? Oh, she's purring. She's purring like an engine. What's that tasty feather be? <laughs> Good morning, my girl. All right, I've made it to a very sleepy Eccleston Yards in Victoria, in London. And as you can see just there, it's Barry's, and that's where I'm going to do my workout this morning. I'm not going to take you in with me, but uh, yeah, it's basically high intensity interval training on the treadmill and then weights on the floor. And that's my morning workout. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I haven't updated you guys in about an hour, so I did the Barry's class. It was super spicy. Usually, most Barry's classes are like 45 minutes. This one was an hour long, and it was so brutal i feel like i waddled out of that class literally drenched in sweat my elbows are dripping my kneecaps are dripping there was sweating every every part of my body was sweating i did it with my friend vanessa and that was just so much fun really good to catch up with her afterwards we both had protein shakes afterwards little smoothies and sat and caught up for a little bit and then yeah i'm now in a park in Vauxhall, sat next to a tree and i'm just gonna walk to a climbing wall it's called vox wall Vox Wall, like a play on Vox Wall, how clever of them. Vox Wall East, I think it's, or is it West? I think it's East, Vox Wall East. Meeting Naomi there. I showed you guys my climbing shoes this morning, didn't I? So yeah, I bought these when I was climbing in the Dolomites and they are such funky looking shoes and they are so hard. Can you hear that, like they're so firm. So yeah, they're not really what I expected climbing shoes to be, but they're really good for getting your toes into those nooks and crannies of the climbing wall. And yeah, I only started bouldering like four weeks ago now and I already love it so much. I'm absolutely obsessed with being bouldering pretty much every week since then. And I feel like it's my new favorite thing. So yeah, come with me. Guys, we literally have the whole place to ourselves. Woo! <laughs> we can do any route we want. My hands are not in a good way. Not in a good way. But uh, almost, almost got to the top of this one. This climb is my nemesis. We've just finished climbing. My hands are in absolute pieces. Gnomes is over there just getting some snaps. 
and we are going to go and get a little coffee, a little decaf coffee for me, maybe some lunch, and then continue on with our Friday adventures. And it's a gorgeous sunny day. Look at those skies, finally summer's here. This morning. Bloody finally. Bloody finally. <laughs> finally. I'm heading to my favourite little hidden coffee shop. It's literally called Hideaway Coffee. That's in your diary, girl. Put in my diary. 30th to the 1st. Is this my hen do? Yeah. Oh my god. Ah. So we've got our little coffees. So we've got a decaf oat latte. We just smashed. Is that a peanut butter blondie? Mm-hmm. Peanut butter blondie. That was good. Time for some lunch. We've come to the salad project, which I've actually heard really good things about. Here she is. Let's have a look what we got. So I got a Nutri bowl, which has like spinach, tofu, corn, edamame, and some other stuff, some almonds and whatnot. And what have you got? Middle feast. Middle feast. Kale, brock, aubergine, harissa, aubergine, harissa, pomegranate. Yeah. Yum! We have made it to one of my favorite places. This is Stretch Lab. It's like one-on-one -on -one assisted stretching and it is life-changing. I'm so excited to try it. We just finished our stretch lab. How good was that, Gnomes? So good. I must say, my calves have been revived. Literally. Like, Gnomes yeah. is a runner. Like, she runs four days a week. And your calves, I can see the pain you were in. <laughs> but yeah, like, miracles have been worked. And he got, he did this stretch into my IT band that was just painful but bliss, like, blissful pain. I just yeah. felt like it was a muscle that hasn't been released in a long time. So. So, so, so good. I love this place. I wish there was one in Surrey because I would literally be there like twice a month. Yes. Yeah. Life changing. Easy. Just feels so good. So if you haven't been to Stretch Lab in London yet, guys, so you good. have to do it, but it's, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's so good that you're like, I just want to come here all the time. <laughs> Next up, creme. Cookies. Cookies. Is that what it is? Cookies. Yes. Okay, we're going to give some cookies. It's like the levian esque cookies. Okay, so New York style cookies. Yeah. I'm excited for this. All right, here it is, creme. Cookies fresh out the oven. So shall we have a milk chocolate and a miso and white and share half and half? Yeah, okay. Yeah. We have got ourselves our two cookies. We just ordered some drinks as well. I've got an apple pie lemonade and Gnomes has ordered this peach iced tea. The white chocolate miso is getting what rating out of 10, Naomi? Mm, nine out of 10. Yeah, nine out of 10. Nine out of 10? No, no, Ted. Crack it open. Show us the goods. Oh damn! It's not as gooey as the as the white one, you know. Not doesn't look it, but I don't know. I mm -hmm. Almost forgot to rate it for you guys, but this one gets an eight out of ten. It is delicious, and the texture is incredible. Yeah. But the white chocolate one definitely wins. White chocolate miso was nine out of yeah. ten. We finished our cookies. My drink was questionable. Mm. My, my drink was my yeah. drink was like a two out of ten. My drink, <laughs> my drink, my drink was not great. Did you it? I drank it because wow. I paid five pounds for it, so wow. I wasn't gonna let that not be drank. Yeah. But the cookies, yo, yeah, your peach tea was good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. And then, well, that's a big truck for London. Um, and then the cookies, yeah, we had a nine, we had an eight. The miso yeah. white chocolate one. If you do come to London, you should totally try get it. That one. It's in Soho. Very easy to get to. Fantastic cookies. Where did we go last time? What was the other place we went to last time? Arom. Arom. Also, if you're in London, go to Arom mm. and get their Lots of toast say. thing. Yeah. Lots of people say it's the the best bakery in London. And it yeah. was great. It was great. Yeah. So I would definitely recommend you check There's it out. Two of them. And now we're gonna go to the photographer's gallery, have a little meet around there, and then go to a sound bath. What a bloody fantastic Friday. I know. <laughs> the best time. Awesome Friday. <laughs> so awesome. Wow. We're heading into my favorite gallery in London. It's just behind Oxford Circus. It's called the Photographer's Gallery. And the exhibitions here are so good. And it's really quick. You can get around it within like an hour, an hour and a half. So it's perfect for like a little afternoon activity. Final stop of our London activity day. 
and we're gonna do a sound bath at Remind Studio in Victoria, my favorite place in sound baths. My favorite place in sound baths? <laughs> favorite place for sound baths in London. If you wanna do one, this is the place to go. I just missed my train home. My next one's in half an hour. So I'm gonna pop into market halls and get some dinner. Come home. Welcome home. You're home. What are you, what is that? What is that? How, how was your, your wet bag today? Oh, I didn't tell them about this. Yeah. I did not tell you this. But on the way into London this morning, my bag, my water bottle in my bag just leaked over everything and all of my clothing was soaked. So when I put this on after the gym and changed into it, it was absolutely drenched. And I hung it up, drawing out bars in the workout and it did not dry out. Funny how it doesn't dry out in uh, like an hour. Well, I thought being, it might do. I thought not, it might not do. Not in a sudden by no heat source. No, that's very true. Um, and yeah, I went to the photographer's gallery and I got myself this book because I took a photo of it to tell you to buy me it for my birthday. And then I looked at it online. You can't buy it online, so I bought it for myself for my birthday. <laughs> this is by the photographer Evelyn Hoffer, and it's Eyes in the City, so like basically photography of different people in different cities in like the 1960s, 70s, etc. And I thought, not only did I really enjoy the exhibition today, one of my favourite exhibitions I've been to at the Photographer's Gallery, I really thought this book fitted well with our house because look at this green. I feel like that will just go very well Is it going in our house. I don't know yet. It might go here in the kitchen, like underneath the kinfolk book. And um, so yeah, I treated myself to this book today. Happy birthday to me. 31 later from this you. month. From, from me, you. From, from you. This video kind of turned into a bit of an unplanned what I eat in a day. Because you saw most of my meals. The only thing you guys didn't see was my smoothie I had this morning. Um, but you saw everything else I ate today. God, this bag is so heavy and so full of sweaty, gross stuff. I'm going to have an apple now, I think, because I feel like I really want an apple. Then you should have an apple. I'm going to have an apple. And I really want some chocolate, but we don't have any chocolate, do we? We had amazing cookies today. From where? They're a really good place called Cram. They just do cookies. Cram cookies? Yeah, they're kind of like... New York style cookies, like thick and melt in the middle. Nice. Really good. Very nice. Alright, I'm gonna go to some Hoover and then watch the football. Lovely! Yeah. Alright. Bye. Okay, I think that's gonna to have to be it for today's vlog, guys. I hope you enjoy coming with me for my day off work. I've got my two apples here. I actually have two because I felt like. I wanted more than one, so two it is. Today is the first full day of my period and my appetite is is appetiting. And I feel like I'm just gonna give my body what it wants, what it needs, and right now, oh, of course he's savoring. Of course he's savoring. Right now it wants apples and it wants hot chocolate. So that is what's gonna happen. Yeah, I really hope you enjoy coming along with me for today. It was really fun. I loved sharing it with you. I think my next video after this one is gonna be my annual um, birthday video. So the next time you see me, I will be 31 years old. So, oh, is that a wasp? Yes, it is. Go away, go away, go away. What was I saying? Yes, I'll be 31 years old, I think, next time you guys see me. So that's really exciting. And I will speak to you and see you then.